Hi, my name is Jack Schumacher. I play Lieutenant Neil Omaha Vikander in uh, Top Gun Maverick. And I'm sitting here in the Man Cave Chronicles with Elias. Jack, welcome to the cave. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, the listeners, the viewers that are going to tune into this interview, they can see you on Top Gun Maverick as uh, Omaha. Mm -hmm. How do you describe this feeling so far with the last week and a half? Actually, it's been going longer for you, but here in the U.S. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's wild, man. The It's been like a four-year process um, right. from the time that like we booked, this, booked the parts, everything started going into this release date. Um, and I was, I was talking to some of the other guys, uh, like Glenn Powell at the premiere, and he was saying, we were both, we were both talking about how it felt like, like a graduation, you know, mm. cause it's like four years, like we've been waiting so long for it. Um, but to finally have it come out and be received the way it has been, it's, it's surreal. I mean, I'm probably going to end up saying how surreal this whole thing was a lot. Um, but it's, yeah, I mean, this was my first movie and to yeah. see, to see something that I got to be a part of be this well received and and it's just it's mind-blowing so yeah. yeah we're gonna dive more into it because i have so many questions for you about that project that uh but at first i want to like so you're pretty new to the industry from what i can be doing some research on you you know like you said you yeah. mentioned this is your first movie you've done a few tv shows like what made you get into the industry what did, how did you fall in love with it yeah so i uh i mean i had always movies were always my escape when i was a little kid i had always i mean i was obsessed with like Star Wars and the Mask of Zorro when I was okay. like five. Like I, I they did. My parents had to give me new like VHSs because I would just burn through them. Mm -hmm. um, and and so that was always really the thing that I wanted to get into, but I never pursued it for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, when I got to college, you know, you're 18, you have no idea what you want to do, which is pretty standard. But uh, I remember I was like, maybe I'll go into psychology, like I'll do this or that. And, and I'd, I'd always been working. I'd always had jobs. And I was like, I, there's nothing that sounds good. There's nothing that feels <laughs> right. Like nothing, yeah. just, I couldn't imagine being in class. I couldn't imagine being in an office and it just, yeah. So I was like, all right, well, I've always wanted to, uh, I've always wanted to act and like direct. So why don't I give that a shot? And I took, uh, like a beginning acting class at my college, which is like a throwaway elective. It was mostly like seniors just waiting mm. to get out. But I took it and I was like, oh, I was like, this is it. This is what I'm doing. Um, and so I immediately went over to Second City, started training there, um, switched my major to film. Um, and then I realized as I was like directing and, and stuff and doing all those, like making my own films, I was like, I really just, I was like, I'm just making these movies so I can be in front of the camera. Like I really love acting. Mm. So and and one day I do want to direct, but I was like, all right, let's just let's just put all our eggs in this basket. Um, and yeah, and then it became my my sole focus and in, in my career. So. Wow. What well, what else? Like, uh, who did you look up to to the industry? Where you kind of like not like model yourself after, but like studying their work and everything. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, Brad Pitt is is like I think the coolest mm. coolest guy uh ever i've always had like i've always admired his uh career and whatnot um when i when i look at and this was a question that i didn't i remember when i first came to la um you know my agents were asking me like well, who do you want to like what kind of careers do you like and uh and i didn't know i mean i was just like anything I want, i'll do anything um right. but uh guys like ryan reynolds i really love i, I love people who do you know a mix of comedy and drama then and, and they kind of yeah i mean it, and the roles just you love watching them you know i mean you get that with brad pitt you get that with tom cruise you you're like i'm here to watch this guy and so yeah a lot i mean there's tons of people man uh i love james marston's career he's done a ton of cool stuff on television that i really love um man i could go on for hours about this but yeah i i if, yeah. I, if I had to pick like the one dude where i was like i was like oh man like that's the guy it would probably be brad pitt yeah. what do you enjoy more so far uh tv or film to work on uh both are very very cool uh very different in a lot of ways i think that i think that i'd probably 
you know, I'll, again, like you're so lucky to get to work in this mm. industry. So it's not like I'm like super picky, but if I had to choose one or the other, I'd probably do film. Um, and I had a good discussion with uh, Tarzan. Um, you know, he plays uh, coyote in Top Gun. And one of the, one of the things that, especially like a long running show, it's great and it's steady work. And, but sometimes like with a film, what you get is your, all of the focus is being put into this one singular piece, you know, and yeah. because it's, because it's like a three, four month thing, or, you know, in Top Gun's case, it was like 11 months. But when you have all the focus on this one project, I think there's something that's really special that comes out of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, there's, there's so many positives about both. I mean, if you're on a TV show, you know, you're long-term, you're with like a family, mm-hmm. um, you know, and then that, cause that's always the sad piece. Like I remember after Top Gun ends, you're like, oh man, like we're going to see each other all the time. And then, and then it's always like, like, and that's on every set. You're like, I love mm-hmm. you guys. And then everyone's busy. And so you're yeah. like, oh man, like I, I miss that, like hanging out 18 hours a day, you know? Yeah. So yeah. from like all the press that I saw and everything. Yeah. It seemed like you guys became like, like a huge family. Dude, it was, it was, it was amazing. And I, I look back on it now and it's, it's a little shocking how, to take that as and it's such a good example and it's what i would hope to bring you know in in future roles where where i might you know be a lead and you know other people could look up to me is i remember the first day on set on top gun normally yeah, every every actor's just like hanging out in their trailer you know and you get called in um we're on we're on like a big naval base and there's like all the rows of trailers and i walked up and all of the pilots were just it, all the actors were were sitting on the ground like mm. in like a little powwow circle just talking you know and and hanging out and i was like oh okay i was like this is great this is just how it is which i've realized it's not how it always is <laughs> right, right. um and i remember the ad came up and he was like he's like wow he's like i love to see this he's like you never see this um and yeah man it but it was it was like a little like work vacation down mm. in san diego like it's it, it was incredible and and i cannot speak highly enough about every single person on my cast i mean mm-hmm. you know all those pilots i learned so much from all of them and you know a lot of them became like mentors and yeah it's it was such an invaluable experience that's awesome so yeah let's jump right into the movie like how did you now get approached for this project what was the audition process like yeah so the uh i just got a standard like email like hey you got an audition for top gun i'm like all right. Oh, so you knew right away it was Top Gun. It wasn't like a secret. Uh... No, no, there there wasn't uh, there wasn't a secret like name for it. I was like, oh, Top Gun. All right. Um, and I think there were three rounds of auditions. Um, and yeah, so so on the third round of audition, you know, the the directors in there, Joseph Kaczynski, and um, you know, went in, did my thing, and and a lot of the times when you leave an audition, you're like, you're like, oh man, like. That, that sucked or so I mean, it's, it's it, you can never yeah. gauge I, I at least can never gauge because i'll walk out sometimes and i'm like that was the worst thing i've ever done like i should leave this industry and then you get it and you're like what <laughs> and then and then but this was like the first time where i walked out and i remember being like i think i got this mm. and uh and, and I, I was like that that went perfect like it, it could not have gone better um but then the thing that, the thing that was torture was I think it was like a full month before I heard. Yeah. And so they put me on, like they put you on call avail, which is like, you know, they pin you or whatever. And so you're just, you're waiting for that phone call. And yeah. uh, like, I think three weeks went by and I was like, oh my God, like what's going on? And cause also my manager's like, hey, like I don't want to send you out for anything else. Cause if you happen to get this, like, I don't, I don't want there to be a conflict. Like you would mm-hmm. want this. And so I'm, I'm sitting there like twiddling my thumbs. I'm like, I can't, man, look, like, what is happening? And then I got a call. It's like, hey, like Tom is watching your tape. And I was like, Tom, Tom Cruise is, is watching my tape. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was like, that's, uh, I was like, that's a weird thing to hear. And then uh, I think it was like two weeks later. Yeah. So maybe like even five weeks, um, my manager called me and he's like, he's like, hey, he's like, uh, I need you. He's like, what's, what's your address? He's like, I, I need to run by. You need to sign some, some forms for me. Mm. And I was like, all right, that's weird. And you just send it over email, but all right. Yeah, sure. Um, so he comes over and like, I run outside and he's like, Hey, uh, there are no forms for you to sign. 
And I was like, what? And uh, he's like, I wanted to tell you in person, you got Top Gun. Wow. And yeah, and I, and I remember, remember because it was like the sun was setting and mm. I'm like, I'm a, I live up in like the Burbank area. And so like, and it was just like a beautiful, warm September night. And I was like, I don't think I said anything. I just remember like staring at the sky for like a full minute and not yeah. really being able to process it. And he was like, give me a hug. <laughs> and then and I was like, I just like, I was like, I, I didn't know what to do. Um, yeah, man, it was uh, a wild month of anticipation, but the feeling of, of hearing that I got, it was something I'll never forget. And it's funny. Cause like you said, you didn't want to like go for something else. Cause you want to have conflict. Most people would have been like, yep, I'm leaving that other world. I'm going to talk. Yeah. Gun. Yeah. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And so I was just, yeah, man, I mean, I, I got a great manager, so I trust him, whatever. Yeah. He, he's never led me astray. So I was like, right. all right, Hey, let's just, yeah. 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 So Omaha, like, did you even get like a description like what he was all about and like how you wanted to like audition for yeah, him no, and, and eventually play him. Yeah. You know, it, it was cause I think I auditioned for, I think I actually auditioned for Harvard. Um, you know, and then I think, I think okay. some of the pilots got shuffled around with, with the call-ins. Um, but for, for what I was going for was, you know, kind of your typical, or not typical, but these pilots have the most like swagger of yeah. anyone that you could imagine. And and they do in real life too, but that maybe, maybe not, they're a little bit more toned down. Um, yeah. but, I mean, they do get rowdy at the bars though. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, 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 you need to bring in that confidence and that, that, you know, that cockiness, um, that you guys are the best of the best. And mm -hmm. on top of that, you're also, doing something that is life or death so there's there's this there's there's an excitement to everything and the stakes are always high and so then it makes because I remember I think the audition we had like a bar scene where like we're walking in and we're messing around with um so yeah we uh we had like a bar scene and then a scene of of combat and uh and and yeah I remember I think I think it was the bar scene that I really, I, I was like, okay, this dude just has to be like dripping in swagger. Uh, and, and yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was mostly what it was. And then the rest kind of got filled in as we, uh, as we went on. Yeah. While you were filming this, like what drew you to the character? You're like, Oh my God, like, this is real. This is happening. I want to play him like the best that I can. I'm, I'm so sorry. Can you say the question one more time? I was like, so like, what drew you to like, to play this character, like the best that you your ability i mean when you're on when you're on a set like that it's uh i mean everyone's bringing their a game and mm. and you know you you want to do that with any job and i mean especially in, in this industry you know jobs are hard to get and so you want to bring you know your absolute best but to be surrounded by such an a-list cast um you know it uh that I think brings something else out in a performance and it, it allows you to, you know, reach a different level and, you know, as a performer, I mean, it's the same sort of thing as when you, you know, when you're doing a scene with someone who's wildly talented and generous in what they give, it, it almost makes your job easy. And uh, you, you pick up on that and you feel that when, you know, Tom Cruise is, you know, giving yeah. a monologue and you're, you're, you're all your job is to do is like to listen you're like yeah i'm gonna like i can listen and then and, and, and all the other stuff yeah. and, um i mean it's uh yeah it, it's it's special so yeah did uh tom give you guys like a big speech before you like started filming this or like any pointers or like direction there were i mean the those are those are some of like my favorite like memories and uh my first time the first time that we all saw him like come up all of us pilots together we were doing mm. the tarmac scene um and and so we're all like in our flight gear we're standing around all these f-18s and it was going to be a shot we're like where we're you know walking to get in our jets and uh and tom walks up and and that was like that was a very sort of out of body sort of moment and and he walks around incredibly gracious and kind i mean every single person like big smile handshake he's like i'm so excited to have you guys here you know we're making something special this is going to be a phenomenal film and uh and and i remember kind of just like i'm looking at him and i'm listening to him talk and i'm like dude that's like 
Oh, it's Tom Cruise. I was obsessed with Mission Impossible too. I'm like, he's right there. <laughs> like he's yeah. right there. Um, uh, yeah. So, and then throughout the filming process, we would oftentimes like when we had wrapped for the day, he would leave, you know, like hair and makeup and uh, after getting cleaned up and Tom would just kind of be holding court. And I, I remember there was one day where, you know, he was, he was talking to us for like 45 minutes, just about like, it's about film and, you know, what makes a great film. And I remember, you know, we were talking about the mission scene where he breaks his leg in real life. And, and yeah. it, it just, to be so lucky to be in those moments is, you know, I, yeah. I, I hit the jackpot, you know, so. Yeah. Throughout the, like the last few weeks, you'd be hearing how like uh, other cast members saying like, you know, they went through a training or they flew with mm -hmm. them. Just what was yours? What did you go through? So we had, we had, we had, I think we all initially got this like this big breakdown of like flight terms and like these like things to study and 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 I immediately like I, pan I think it was like ten pages of like like all the vocabulary and I was like oh my god more than that um, but I studied that till mm. I like my eyes were bleeding because um, I was like I'm gonna be like I, I got I gotta know I can't not know right. uh, and then they're like hey we're gonna send you on some uh, flight training so I'm like okay great there'll be a classroom portion there'll be and then you'll get up into the airplane um and and i was like it, like I, I didn't know they meant like fly the airplane um yeah. but i figured that out that day because i thought it was going to be like a classroom and then we would wait and then there would be a you know a flight thing we went into the classroom and i remember the uh instructor gave a pretty gave a pretty quick like breakdown and then he was like who wants to fly a plane and uh, i'm like because i was training with kara wang who plays um my Wizzo, uh, her call sign is Halo. And, uh, and I remember just being like, okay, uh, sure. So we got up into the planes and we did that for a few sessions. Um, and then I think on the final session was the one where they're like, Hey, like you're going to land it. And obviously, you know, he's, he's right next to you. Like, and he's got the thing, but I remember being like, dude, like I can take off. I can like, we're up there. Like I'll, I'll, I'll move it yeah. around a little bit, but like the landing, oh my God, that scared me. Um, but that, I mean, yeah, it was wild to get to do those sorts of things. And then um, obviously getting into shape, you know, to want to, you know, be able to represent these pilots accurately. Because, I mean, these guys are these, the strength that you have to have to withstand, you know, the G-force. And then also one thing that I didn't know is when you're going through, you know, experiencing those Gs, holding on to the, uh, the stick is like the, uh, the pilot told me he's like it's almost like holding like a 35 pound dumbbell just in wow. place like the pressure yeah so i mean like their forearms are generally like just jacked um so yeah i mean i, I wanted to I, that was also a good motivator where i'm like i'm gonna be the, in the best shape of any of these guys um you know <laughs> if anything is gonna ever motivate you to hit the gym really hard it's being in the beach scene in the next top gun so, yeah <laughs> yeah Did, um now, did you get nervous at all when they told you you were actually going to get up in the air? You know, yeah, man, of course. I mean, like, I don't know any, I didn't know really anything about like planes or flying planes. I mean, I'm, it, it, it was, but it was kind of like a dream come true. Cause I've never, I mean, it was, if someone was like, Hey, do you want to go fly a plane? I just, I mean, if it was all set up for me, sure. But I mean, I, it had never been yeah. something that was like in the realm of possibilities for me. Yeah. Um, you know, I was, I never was like, I could afford to go take flight lessons. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, to, to just have that experience, you know, given to you, I was, it was kind of like a magical moment. Um, but yeah, it's uh it was a trip, man. It was a trip. Definitely, definitely yeah. some nerves the first time. Yeah. I mean, your heart's beating when they're like, okay, like now take off. Mm -hmm. And cause I, I just kept wanting to be like, no, you do it. But like, <laughs> but then finally, once you do it, you're like, oh my God, it, it really is one of the most incredible things I'd compare it to like riding a motorcycle for the first time where you're yeah. like, what is happening? What am I feeling right now? Yeah. Um, it's exhilarating. Did you get sick at all up in the air? You heard other cast members saying they were getting sick up there. I was doing okay. I did. Okay. Yeah. I did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I have a strong stomach. Yeah. yeah. Jack's favorite moment throughout all this. What do you think it is? Ooh, um, I think, I think it had to be the beach scene um because that there was so there's so much pressure 
and like you know obviously like from like you know tom or anything but like mm. we were all putting pressure on ourselves where we're like okay like we this is going to be iconic and yeah. like we all like i mean i was thinking i was working out like four hours a day like before we got to set and then i would go to the gym afterwards um when we got back at like midnight and then do the same thing and 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 like i was like cutting like my like my water i basically followed like a like what a bodybuilder does like a week before um a week before they go on stage you know where you sort of dehydrate yourself which is not like like anytime like i show someone like a picture of me on the beach i'm like this is also by the way not sustainable later that night i had i was 10 pounds heavier because i started drinking water um but it uh doing that scene being there that was like oh man like we're really making mm-hmm. we're like we're we're doing that iconic scene and mm-hmm. then when it was finally done just kind of being like oh my god like it's over i can go eat something right now <laughs> um we all we all went out to dinner and i i remember i just i ate a disgusting amount of food um but then the tough thing was that i think it was the next week we had reshoots they call us they're like hey you gotta oh. do reshoots. so i had to drop the weight again and i was, I was just, dude I, I came back because i think we had a break uh for a couple of weeks after that and i was just like i was spent i was completely yeah. spent so yeah i put my body through a lot for that mm. yeah did you get a chance to watch uh the finished project the film before it got released to everybody or did you wait for it for the premiere yeah no we got to see a cut um when was that we were wearing masks, so it must have been, yeah, it must have been after COVID hit. Um, so I think it might have been in like October of okay. 2020 or something. They showed us a cut. Yeah, they, we went over to uh, Paramount and uh, we got to see it then. And and I, I was like, oh my god! And I and I remember I've I've told people, and I and I got nervous kind of telling people where I'm like, it's better than the original. And, and a lot of people were like, really? And I'm, and I'm like, yeah. And then, and then like, and then, but then so much time passed where I'm like, was I wrong? Like, I, I can't remember. And then I saw it again at the premiere and I'm like, oh yeah, no, man, this is, this is, this is one of the best things that I've seen, you know, in my life. So it's yeah. uh yeah, it was cool. What was your reaction after seeing that part, the cut, and then after actually seeing it with more people in the theater? Getting to see, I, I mean, it, it's exciting to, because I I've always anything I've ever been in I generally watch like I mean like if I like when I watch like like things that come on TV I'm like behind the couch and I'm like oh god um, and then like then I see it and I'm like okay and then like I'll watch it again mm. um, so this being the first movie I was I was kind of relieved that I got to uh, I got I got to see it sort of just with the other actors mm. and uh, going into it then I was like yeah it was a joy to get to see other people experience what i knew was going to be great right. um and and to feel the energy and to you know there's like some moments where i know there's going to be a laugh and then hearing the audience laugh and 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 hearing them gasp and i mean that's it's it's what you want you know when you get into this industry because i mean i you want to affect people and you know because that's that was my motivation for wanting to do it i i had been affected by film and television and you know they had influenced me in my life and they make you feel and they make you laugh i mean they they entertain you and so to get to be a part of something this entertaining and then to watch an audience go through those emotions it's a really special thing to experience for the first time yeah. that's awesome did you have any feeling it was going to be this huge opening weekend it like blew everything up i i mean i i kind of I, I had some sort of an idea but it had also it had also gone on so long that i i got a little nervous where i was like mm. maybe it won't it won't be received as well you know had had everything not been shut down for so long and it's been on the shelf and i mean who knows and also like i've never done like any sort of like I've never been in a film of this caliber so like i yeah. don't I, I i really had no gauge of what was going to happen but <laughs> once once i got to the premiere i was like oh okay no we're uh we're in yeah. for something big here um and <laughs> i remember i remember at the premiere 
talking to because again my first red carpet talking to some of the other pilots and or the other actors and i was and i and i had been asking that this of them all during the time on set i was like is this normal is this how it normally is and everyone just like they were on set were like no 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 this is this is like gonna be one of the biggest things like you'll ever see i mean this wow. i mean when tom does something he he does something right and especially for top gun maverick yeah. you know he, he pulled out all the stops so yeah. well you, you, know. you heard all the stories how like he turned down sequels for so long yeah so it's just crazy like he just they pitched it to him in a half hour from what i've read and mm-hmm. he called he called the studios that were doing it yeah yeah man i mean it to for something like this, you know, to, to come along, I mean, I'm sure there were a million people trying to make it happen for so long yeah. to finally have it come to fruition is uh, it, it's, it's amazing. And then, I mean, that's, that's also just the really special thing about it. I mean, so often sequel, mm. you know, is it's just kind of, it rehashes sort of the old thing and it just doesn't hit and it doesn't feel right. And you walk away kind of like, man, why didn't they just leave it alone? Right. Um, but this one i mean to, to do it this well is yeah. really really spectacular yeah. and now you're saying about leaving it alone a lot of people are asking now the question are we going to see a third one some people are saying leave it the way it is don't touch it other people are saying no oh, maybe we'll see spin-offs yeah man i don't i don't know i've i've, right? I've, I've had a, i've had a few people ask me that and i i i don't know either i um yeah. i mean i could you could see where you know you could take it um and mm-hmm. then there's always always that tempting thing of like hey you made something amazing right. leave it alone right. um so we'll see we'll see i will be yeah. just as interested to find out as everyone yeah. else so yeah last last question on the movie when your friends and family watched it what kind of messages were you receiving about oh, man. Your, I mean, about just... your about your the way you were on it and plus and overall the whole thing I mean, just, just, I mean, everyone's saying how incredible the film was and how much they enjoyed it. And then it was, you know, an outpouring of love, you know, from friends and family that, you know, getting to see me do this and be on a big screen. Um, you know, it's, uh, I'm just, I feel incredibly blessed and, and lucky to, uh, you know, to have gotten to go through this and, you know, mm. share that experience with them. So, yeah. That's awesome. Now, what's next for you now? Any other projects you're allowed to tell us about or you're about to either work on or have already worked on? Yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a couple things coming out. I believe in October, uh, there's a new Robert Siegel show uh, about the Chippendales uh, story. Um, okay. So I got, uh, got some stuff in that coming out. And then um, I did a uh, fun uh, horror movie that I believe will also be coming out in, uh, in October called Kill awesome. Her yeah yeah awesome. so uh yeah gonna be uh gonna be a fun fall yeah and just keep grinding away with the auditions yeah man yeah always always yeah. always looking awesome. for that next uh next thing to click so yeah. but uh yeah i love That's it That's awesome uh lastly how can the viewers and the listeners find you on social media uh that you can find me instagram schumacher underscore jack and then I got a Twitter. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm sure if you Google me, it'll come up. Um, I don't, I never look at that, but uh, yeah, Instagram's the main yeah. one. So yeah. Jack, uh, thank you for giving me a few minutes today. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it.